Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. A Missouri firm is recalling thousands of pounds of fresh beef because of the potential for mad cow disease. And although the chances are extremely low of you contracting this disease from the beef, the USDA wants consumers to be aware. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. Well, right off the bat, we need you to know that there is no evidence this beef was contaminated with mad cow disease, but this recall was issued because of what was left behind in the beef that could increase the risk. Late this afternoon, Call 12 for Action learned that three Whole Foods markets in Rhode Island did sell the recalled beef. Here's what we know. Fruitland American Meat is recalling approximately 4,000 pounds of fresh beef products. Some of its ribeye and carcass products may contain the dorsal root ganglia. In other words, it's part of the nervous system that by law is supposed to be removed from cattle because it can carry the deadly mad cow infection. Anything in the central nervous system has to be removed from the bones, and here they didn't do that. The last known case of mad cow in the United States was in California two years ago. It's a deadly brain disease and almost always fatal in humans. The products were packaged and sold between September 2013 and April 2014. According to the USDA, the meat was processed into smaller cuts and unfortunately with no identifying consumer packaging. USDA inspectors tell us there is no indication that any of the cattle involved in this recall displayed any signs of mad cow disease. Regardless, the recall is necessary just in case. We always talk about with beef, if it's cooked thoroughly and all of that, it kills off any bacteria. Does anything burn this off? Uh, here, I think some of the literature shows that the prions that basically cause this aren't destroyed in cooking. So that's, that's why it's, uh, it's basically there's no tolerance for it being there. No call 12 for action contacted Whole Foods. They tell us no products currently in their stores in Mass, Connecticut and Rhode Island are affected and they are closely monitoring this issue with their suppliers. We have a lot more information for you regarding this recall right now. Just go to our website WPRI.com and if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our call 12 for action center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1 hotline 228-1850 or if you're interested in becoming a call 12 for action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.